welcome to another unboxing video. This one is from Lindy's Stamp Gang. As you know, if you've watched my channel for a little while, I am on the design team for Fab Scraps. They are a scrapbook and mixed media company from South Africa. And we're going to be doing a crossover shortly with the Lindy's Stamp Gang team and the Fab Scraps team. So I was able to get some of the Lindy's products to be able to use for that crossover. And I wanted to share with you what I got. I had not used their products before, so um, making a decision was pretty hard. The first thing I got is their, it's called Flat Fabio. It's basically um, mist, but it's flat. And included in the package is this little card and the front is just, you know, a little thank you note, but the back tells you about their products, which I really liked. It gives you some tips, um, tricks, things like that. So I chose the flat spray because I have several of, you know, the Heidi Swap colors, but I also don't like the um, the fact that glimmer gets stuck in the caps. I don't know about that for Lindy's, but I know about that for uh, some of the others I have. So I thought I'd give the flat ones a try, but they come like this. They're empty, which is the powder in the bottom. Can you see it down there? And it has a fill line and it tells you the directions are right here. that say you fill this with hot water and you let it sit for 10 minutes and then you have your mist. So I just used a medicine dropper because I am one to spill everything everywhere. Um, that and I have small children so there are medicine droppers all over the place. Especially since uh, our littlest one just had double ear infections. Um, and that was quite the tragedy, I will tell you. They say they don't give, or they're not giving as much antibiotics uh, for ear infections anymore to let them run their course. Uh, well, they gave them to her, the vet, the vet. <laughs> uh, isn't that a true statement sometimes when they're animals? But the doctor said that they were, they were really, really bad. And, um... She was actually, the pain was so bad she was vomiting. And that's how we figured it out because she started vomiting and I was like, okay, we got the stomach bug. But she's sitting on the floor then just rocking with her hands over her ears. And I'm like, something's not right. So off we went. But yeah, they give us, even though she um, can drink medicine from a cup just fine, they see her age and give us a medicine dropper and now we have 8,000 of them. So the other ones I have filled already so that they could do their 10 minute sitting. And it does say to shake these every time you use them. So there you go. And you'll see these I did before and I let them sit. Let me see if you can, nope, maybe this one. Can you see how it's separated a little bit? You just shake it back up and you're good to go. So I thought what I'd do is this is just a plain piece of cardstock. I haven't prepped it or anything because we're on limited time here before she wakes up. I just thought I'd Show you what they look like. This one, let me see if the color is on here. There we go, raspberry lemonade. And I chose these particular colors 
to go not only with some of the products I already had from Fab Scraps, but also think colors that I would be more likely to use in my regular scrapbooking. That one is Tilt a Wheel Teal. Oh, that's the green that's still sitting. You can get these in a set of five. I think it's called Boardwalk something. But it had an orange, which I knew I wouldn't use, so I just got the ones I would. This is Pop Rock Purple. Oh, I really like that one. And then this hasn't sat for 10 minutes, but it obviously, but it should give you at least an idea. And that is Merry-Go-Round Green. So, let me wipe this off. It does say that they are um, dye-based, so be careful about getting them on your hands. Um, I'm not worried about my hands. If my hands have ink on them, I'm okay with that. But the clothes, I said to be careful of your clothes. So let me get another piece of paper. Should have gotten two to begin with. I will show you while this is... a. Uh, drying a little bit. I did pick out a stamp set. Butterfly and Moth Gang. I thought these with a fussy cut and maybe colored in would make some really nice embellishments. I was not prepared for the fact that they come in a single sheet. Um, you're gonna, I'm gonna have to cut them apart. And there's not much space. Can you see between these? So um, I'll have to do some research on, there's also no, no foam on these. So I don't know how they would stick to my block. So I'm gonna have to do some research on just red rubber stamps. The only rubber stamps I have are on wooden blocks. So I'm always happy to learn something new though. If you follow along on my Instagram, you'll see I've been learning how to do the glitter tumblers. Um, and boy, let me tell you, it's out of trial and error process sometimes. Okay, then the next thing I got was, they're called Magicals. They come in these tiny little shakers. I got three of them in similar colors to the the mist that I that I got. They come in their own bag with a little card about the magicals and how they they're known to escape the jars and what you should do when you first get them. You need to fluff them just by shaking them. Well I already did that so I could show you. But they're just powders. Let's see. And then you can add them to things. Uh, let's see what the description says. Paint right out of the package by just adding water to a paintbrush, dipping in the jar, and painting away. A tiny amount of powder to get amazingly vibrant color. You can also make your own alcohol ink by adding these to rubbing alcohol or painting with the alcohol. Says if you're wanting more than just a watercolor look, try adding them to any of the gels, glazes, pastes, and mediums. The reason I got those is uh, Fab Scraps has stencils. You've seen me use them in some of my process videos if you followed along. And I thought I could add these to modeling paste and put them through the stencil. So. You can see some of the powder has escaped the top. Let's see if that... Let's shake it off and not waste it. So here's the pour side. Bigger pour. 
Let's see if this is a shaker side. Yep. And this is a shaker like a, like a spice jar. Let's see how that looks. Oh, look at how nice. I like this so much more than adding acrylic paint to my modeling paste because then the, um, the modeling paste gets all watery. Oop, two baby wipes. So the color on this one, make sure that's closed, polka purple. I will put those through a stencil in a second. Let me get the other ones. I don't want to use the four spout. Now all I have used of these is what was came out when I opened the pour spout. I didn't actually shake any out, so you can see how little it really takes to get that wonderful color. And you can see, especially on this one, it's white in the jar. And what did I, did I tell you the color? Guten Tag Teal. You can see this is a pink, but the what came out was is white. Pink's over here. Again, that's just what's on the jar. This is Magnolia Magenta Gold. Okay, this one I might need a little more. No. It looks to me like I may still have had some of the teal on my palette knife. Let me try that again just so you get an accurate. You can see my fingers are uh, getting colorful. I will have to put these somewhere where I know little Missy <laughs> will not be able to reach them. I should post on my Instagram the picture I have. Someone found a stays on ink pad the other day while mommy was cutting some vinyl. That was disastrous. Okay. So, let me grab a stencil here. This is one of Fab Scraps. What's it called? It's from the, A Moment in Time. It's C109. I have used this on a layout. Since I have that on my palette knife. I don't know that I made enough to do the whole thing, but... Give you an idea. See, so you can see where I must have still had some teal on my on my knife. <laughs> Stencil in it. Don't do mixed media often. If it's going to have a tragedy, the tragedy is going to happen to me. Here's the Guten Tag purple. Look how pretty that is. 
And then here I'll do the teal. And again, I chose these colors not only because they went with some of the fab scraps things I own, but also because these are colors I will use in my everyday scrapbooking. And I love that I can use one big jar of modeling paste and have, I'll just set this here, have different colors of these tiny jars. rather than having big tubs or tubes of all different colors. So, and I like that they're versatile. I would rather have a product I can use four different ways than, you know, a, a unitasker, as I will call it. So that's what I got from Lindy's Stamp Gang. I can't wait to use them with my Fab Scraps things. Um, I hope to do videos when I do my fab scraps stuff this this go round. But look at how pretty those colors are. And then I mean, these have dried a little bit. Look how nice. You know the color is still quite vibrant. So thanks for watching with me guys. Tell me do you have any of these products? Which ones were if you don't which ones would you have picked of the three that i got and stay tuned to see how i use them thanks so much for watching bye